pair is equal to m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m because both pair are identical now we can try the formula by the law of gravitation according to the law of gravitation f is equal to g m1 m2 upon g square here m1 is equal to m2 so we can write in solution by the law of gravitation f is equal to g m1 m2 upon d square now putting the value m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m then the equation will be changed m square is equal to f d square upon g taking square root on both side then equation will be changed in this form m is equal to f d square upon g whole square root now putting the values then f m is equal to value of f 0.0 Zero zero six six seven three multiplied by one square value of d. So one square upon putting the value of d six point six seven three multiplied by ten to the power minus eleven. Now the value becomes six point six seven three multiplied by ten to the power minus eleven minus three upon six point six Seven three multiplied by ten to the power minus eleven. The answer m is equal to one multiplied by ten to the power minus three plus eleven. When power move upward, the negative sign will be changed. So ten to the power minus three plus eleven, it will be become one multiplied by ten to the power eight whole square root. Taking square value, then one multiplied by ten to the power four kg. The final answer m is equal to ten thousand kg. Thus, the mass of air m one m two is equal to m is equal to ten thousand kg. Result: the mass of air m one and m two each have ten thousand kg. Now. In question number three, find the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity means mean the value of small g on the surface of Mars. The mass of Mars is six point four two multiplied by ten to the power twenty three kg, and its radius is. 3,370 kilometer. Now, the given data of mass of Mars is equal to 6.42 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 kg and radius 3,370 kilometer. Now, we write the given data: mass of Mars m m m capital M denoted by mass and small m denoted by Mass. So its value is equal to 6.42 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 kg. Now the radius of Mars R M is equal to 3,370 km. Now change in centrifugal rotation, move the decimal place from this point to this point. Here arrow at shows. Then this point to this point one two and three it can be written as three point three seven multiplied by ten to the power three and one kilo is also equal to ten to the power three. Now the final answer three point three seven multiplied by ten to the power six meter. Gravitational constant. Capital G is equal to 6.673 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square. To find the gravitational force, gravitational force is denoted by G. So we can write that G M 
gravitational force on Mars is equal to Poisson bar. Now write the formula on the surface of Mars. The value of G, G is equal to capital G gravitational constant mass of Mars divided by radius square. Now putting the values and to find the solution on the surface of Mars. G m is equal to G m m upon R m square. Now putting the values, then G m is equal to 6.673 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11. The value of G multiplied by mass of Mars 6.42 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 divided by radius of Mars. 3.37 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 whole square. We calculate the value multiplying 6.673 multiplied by 6.42 is equal to 42.84 multiplied by 10 to the power 11 plus 10 to the power 23. Now taking the square of 3.37 is equal to 11.357 multiplied by 10 to the power square is equal to 10 to the power 12. Now the final answer becomes 3.77 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 plus 23 minus 12 is equal to 3.77 multiplied by 10 to the power plus 23 and minus 23 becomes 0 and 10 to the power 0 is equal to 1. So the final answer 3.77 multiplied by 10 to the power for 0 is equal to 3.77. The value of gm is equal to 3.77 meter per second scale. The final result, the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Mars is equal to 3.77 meters per second square. Now, the last miracle of today's lesson is the force, the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Moon is 1.662 meter per second square. The radius of the moon is 1740 km. Find the mass of the moon. Now we calculate the mass of the moon when the acceleration due to gravity. The value of G is given 1.62 and the mass will be calculated by this. To write the given data, here the gravitational acceleration Gm, G is denoted by small value. So, due to the gravitational acceleration denoted by small g, small g m is equal to 1.62 meter per second square. Now, the radius of moon r m is equal to 1740 kilometer. Decimal place from the arrowhead, this point to this point. Here, three values. 1, 2, and 3. It can be written in this form 1.74 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 of the value of kilo. So, the final answer 1.74 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 meter. Gravitational constant, the value of capital G, 6.6 Seven three multiplied by ten to the power minus eleven newton meter square per kg square. To find the mass of moon mm, then formula becomes mass of moon is equal to gravitational acceleration gm on the moon and radius of moon square divided by value of gravitational constant. Now. We calculate the solution then. Mass of moon is equal to putting values of G 